Here's a quick video on how to install vinyl plank flooring. It's become very popular over the last few years and it's fairly easy to do yourself if you want to modernize your home. Some vinyl plank has tongue and grooves and goes together like laminate, but this does not, so I will be using adhesive to put it down. If it's going on OSB subfloor, you want to sand all your joints and make sure they're all flat so you don't feel them underneath the flooring. Next, you want to take a scrap piece of flooring and make sure they fit under all your door jams and casing. If it doesn't, you can use a flush cut saw or a multi-tool if you have one. Just be sure to use the flooring as a guide. To make sure your flooring runs square with the house, you want to snap a line across the longest part, in this case, through the bedrooms. Because the railing is the main focal point in the room, we're going to want a full piece of flooring up against it. That's why I'm laying out planks until we line up with the bedrooms. Snap a line across the marks you made, then check the chalk line that it's straight with the bedroom walls. If it's way off, you have bigger problems. Eco373 is the adhesive I'm using, along with a 16th inch spreader. You want to spread the adhesive at least two rows wide, that way the planks work off each other to keep straight. After about 30 minutes, the adhesive becomes clear and sticky, and you can start your first two rows. Your first two planks are going to be staggered half on each other. The first row on the chalk line, the second right up against it. If there's no gaps on the ends or the sides, you know you're running straight. Right away I ran into a door jam. If it's an easier cut, I usually just use snips. Make sure you take your time with the first two rows, as it is the most important part of the process. When you get to the wall, flip it end for end, mark it, and then cut it. The floor cutter works great if you got one. You can pretty much cut it with anything, including an X-Acto knife and a speed square, just like a piece of drywall. Once you're done your first two rows, you can work off of it in any room in any direction. That's what's nice about this kind of flooring, because tongue and groove, you typically have to work in one direction. I usually do three rows at a time, with three random lengths. I say random because if your starter pieces are random, your joints will always be random. Be sure to have your joints six inches apart. You want all your cut ends to the wall, and all your factory ends to each other. Once you're done your starter pieces, carry on laying full pieces.
It's fastest to rip your end pieces with the table saw. Once you get to a heat register, lightly lay it down, mark it, measure it, cut it. Repeat the same steps through each room. The flooring will naturally stagger into each room. An ice cream pail works great for your cuts around the toilet. That one's definitely a jigsaw cut. And then just a spade bit for the water line. There are endless colors and patterns of vinyl plank. You can give your home a pretty big facelift in just a few days. Hopefully this video helped you out.